the ISU-152, a heavy Soviet self-propelled gun used in World War II, entering service in 1943. The ISU-152 could take on armor on the battlefield big or small with its 152.4mm gun. It often went by the nickname Zitoboy, meaning beast killer, to give the Soviet army confidence that it was one answer to Germany's large tank designs entering service in the second half of the war. The first prototype of the ISU-152 was unveiled in January of 1943, and the design was accepted into production just over a month later. It went by the initial designation of KV-14, as they were built on the KV-1 chassis. Their designation changed to SU-152 in April of 1943. This variant was successful in combat, however production of the KV-1 tank chassis ended in August of 1943. So the 152 would be upgraded and built on the new IS tank chassis starting in December of 1943. Designation would now change to ISU-152. Four thousand six hundred and thirty-five of these monsters were built up until 1959. Several Soviet movies take advantage of their dramatic presence, which always amplifies a battlefield. The most notable film that uses several is Counter-Strike from 1985. To date, there are around 20 ISUs in museums and memorials around the world. Despite the nickname Beast Killer, the primary role of the ISU was in supporting infantry and attacking fortified positions. The ISU was extremely valuable during urban combat. They were used at the Battle of Berlin, at Budapest, and Kunitzburg. The vehicle's excellent front armor meant it could advance towards enemy strong points while under fire from German artillery or anti-tank guns. Its low-velocity high-explosive rounds could blast open enemy fortified positions, or just level city blocks before Soviet infantry advanced. Front armor for the ISU is 90 mm at 30 degrees, to an incredible 320 mm around the gun in late variants. It should be noted the reason for the mantlet looking so large is less about armor and more about making space for the recoil system used by the gun. The vehicle was slow, it had a 520 horsepower diesel engine, meaning at 47.3 tons it had 11 horsepower per ton. Maximum speed on roads was 30 km an hour or 19 miles per hour. The gun was slow to aim with a limited traverse of 12 degrees left or right. The gun was further slow to reload, and internally the ISU could only carry a maximum of 21 rounds. Replenishing the vehicle's ammunition supply took over 40 minutes and required a very strong loader. The heaviest shell the vehicle fired was the concrete piercing round, weighing a massive 56 kilograms, that's almost 125 pounds. The shells were so big that even a high explosive round meant for soft targets had the potential to destroy a heavily armored tank. Post-World War II, ISUs continued in limited production, with upgrades including the installation of the same engine used on T-54s. ISUs were used around the world, from Korea to the Middle East. One interesting use was at Chernobyl, where they were brought in after the nuclear meltdown. A plan was created to use their guns to blast a hole in the concrete surrounding the nuclear reactor from a safe distance. Crews could then pipe in liquid nitrogen to cool the reactor down. This plan was abandoned for one involving coal miners, accessing the reactor by digging under it. But the ISU would still play a role in bulldozing buildings that had absorbed radiation in the surrounding area. The theory was the ISU's thick armor helped protect crews from radiation. The crews performing this task would be called liquidators. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this video on the Beast Killer, which was more of a bulldozer with a big gun. Take care, stay away from nuclear reactors, and we'll see you next time.